Okay, okay, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm starting this vlog out, making myself some dinner. Oh shit, that was almost so bad. This is what I'm making for dinner. So Trader Joe's, something also about my friend's house. Um, this is a friend's house out we were staying at when we first got married. Um, her and her mom are out of town currently for her brother's wedding. So I am taking care of their cat. While they're gone, I'm just watching over their place. So I just got this from Trader Joe's today. Um, this is like rice mix. Um, and then these like Indian fair pouches are like a hidden gem at Trader Joe's. Like not everyone knows about these and they're so freaking good and they're so easy. Such easy meals, especially like when it's just me. And when it's Garrett and I, we do two packets and like lots of rice, but it's just me. So that is um, the start of the vlog. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I just did three cups of water. Uh, three cups of water. Yeah, probably should have let it boil before I added that, but I'm just like impatient. So that's just who I am as a person. So, so very sorry. But yeah, we're just gonna let that Oil, and I just added salt. You can also add butter, but I don't know if they have any. So it has been cooking for about 20 minutes or so. So let's check on her. Oh my gosh, I just burnt my hand. Just gonna stir her up. Do you guys wanna see, be in on this action? Here's what it is looking like it still has a little bit of water in it so I'm gonna keep it on low while I get um, this ready these are so simple let me show you how to like prepare this you're gonna be blown away here we go step one Step two. Beautiful. And then we take this mixture that we microwave for two minutes and we literally just show you guys the I wanted to show you guys the finished product. It just looks like this. Nice and yummo. I'm gonna make myself some and that'll be den for one and lunch for tomorrow because there'll be lots of leftovers i think i'm such a chatty kathy because honestly because we got our wedding photos back and it like when i say it improved my mood by like 13 gajillion percent because let me tell you like the first few months of our marriage have or i guess like a month and a half has been rough like Starting out our marriage, living with other people, not being with our dogs, having to split our time between like here and then like Garrett going to my mom and dad to take care of our dogs that they're so kindly watching for us. And like, it's like not been fun. It has not been fun. But you know what is like, it's not been fun. It's not been easy. But like, there's no other person in this world that I would rather do any of that stuff with so I'm very very grateful but it kind of sucks but I think now that we have our moving date and we have our wedding photos back I'm like so here's then just wanted to give you guys a little dinner update if once it cools I will give you a review all right let's try this is the one that I haven't had yet I've had the Madras lentils the Katari, 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 Katari is my favorite. But this one seemed like a combo of the Katari and the Madras lentils. Also, I'm having it with the spicy rice stuff, which I haven't also haven't had it before, so it could impact my opinion. There's so much flavor in this, and let me tell you, I haven't added a drop of anything else except for salt in my water. It's hot, like temperature-wise. 
hi okay it's the next day um not much has changed i honestly just wanted to see if i looked bad because there's no full-length mirrors in this apartment it's just the romper i got in the shein haul that i posted the other day um but garrett and i are gonna have like a little mini date so i thought i would wear something cute um to make a pit stop in Best Buy for Garrett. Thumbs up. All right, good morning. Hello. It is the next day and, um, hold on, I have to drive and talk at the same time. It's not very easy, honestly. Um, I'll put you in here for right now. We just woke up. It's like 9 o'clock. Yes, I'm still wearing my PJ shirt. I wear this shirt a lot because my I was guessing it during the wedding, but it's not really any re like way, time to wear it now that we're married, but I wear it a lot at nighttime. But So, at the apartment that my friend lives, their coffee pot is broken. And so for work this week, I've been taking like my Celsius's with me at work and just drinking those on the way to work. And they've just been giving me energy to like survive the day. But weekends are for drinking coffee slowly, enjoying your morning. So I'm going to pick us up some coffee from Duncan. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it because I haven't had coffee in a few days and I love coffee, like an abnormal amount, I think. I mean, I know a lot of people love coffee, but like, there's nothing like a good cup of coffee, you know? Oh yeah. So good. Okay. I wanted to give you guys oh, I wanted to give you guys a cornbread donut update. Garrett and I ate most of it, but here it is. Because I could move you guys out of the way. Okay, so here's a cornbread donut. It's kind of like a sour cream donut. But it tastes to me like a funnel cake. That's what it tastes like to me. And the texture is like you're eating a cornbread biscuit or muffin. It's pretty good. I don't know if I'd get it again. But if this was like at, if someone brought them to work or something, I'd probably eat them. Hello, I wonder how many times in this vlog I'm going to open a clip and say, hello, it's the next day, because I literally had the impulse to say that and thought, oh, Becky, you've said this so much already, like, maybe this is something different, so. Um, I am almost to my parents' house. I have the next two days off of work, so I'm driving to my mom and dad's. Garrett's already been there. He's been there since, like, Tuesday, Monday. Freaking and ready because I haven't seen my dogs in so freaking long. Like it's been over two weeks since I've seen my dogs, and I used to be the parent, the parent of the pa the dogs. Uh, that would be like consistent. Like I was the one that I took care of the dogs for the most part. Like they were mostly my dogs and Garrett when we're doing long distance. Like would travel to see us. So this is like a really. That was super dramatic, but that fell and hit me in the knee and it actually hurt. Uh, anyways, it's just been a hard role reversal for me personally because like, I don't know. It's just weird not being with your animals and your whole family. So uh, yeah, so when I get back, I'm gonna show you guys the babes and I'm so excited. That's the sign. Okay, I'll show you guys the dogs when I get back. Bye. Right now? 
cookies. <laughs> I got a package in the mail. Um, I got it sent to my mom and dad's house because obviously our living situation is not ideal. But I got my bouquet pressed, preserved, all of the things. And it came in the mail. I'm so excited. I will link the Etsy shop. She um, is located in Atlanta and my sister um, lives in Atlanta. So I, it was just super easy for me to use her. Okay, I gotta give you guys like the reveal. Garrett, do you wanna see it? You have it right now? Yeah. Yeah. She dried some of these little flowers that were in my bouquet. But they weren't like she didn't put them in the bouquet because I guess they're probably too big. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. We're both tied up. Oh yeah, I made these shirts at the same time. Remember? Didn't mean to do that. Remember my uh, phase of quarantine the when quarantine I quarantine tie dye phase. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I wanted to be perfect. It was perfect. No, my bouquet was perfect. Like let's not let's not disrespect Samantha. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. I'm just nervous about the pressing. Hmm. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh That's a God. good frame, too. Oh Did she use piece lace for my dress? Dang. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Oh, Alvin likes it. Look at all my little daisies. Mm. Does it bring back the men? Yeah. <laughs> Start doing this again. Give me a kiss. Yeah. Kiss you for like five minutes. Oh my god. I can't wait to hang this up in our apartment. In our little wedding corner. Mm. Look at our pictures. <laughs> You realize we're gonna need like a whole nother square footage of space for, for just wedding stuff. Right? <laughs> I'm being super obnoxious. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Uh, it is good. It is good. I can't. I, I, I really love uh, this frame that yeah. she did it with. She hand makes the frames. Too. Well, it fits with like the aesthetic of like the venue. Yeah. And we were at. Oh my god. This is the company. Atlanta Flower Press. Hi, okay, so we're running around right now. We're supposed to be going to a friend's house this evening. Um, and we're doing last minute errands because, you know, that's the Garrett shots way. And I guess Becky shots now. Um, but anyways, I was trying to tell you guys earlier uh, that I will link the shop where I got the bouquet flower pressing from. And I, I'm so happy that I did that. Um, I don't know if doing a preserved flower pressing is for everyone, but flowers is my favorite thing, or are. Flowers are my favorite thing, and I've always loved them. I've always felt that way, and I cannot believe I get to hang that up in our house for the rest of forever. That's the kind of shit that one day, if, uh, like our, when we have kids, like they're a thousand percent gonna break that. That is that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be sad um but yeah so elena flower press um is who i used because my sister um is local so she was able to kind of like drop it off so i'm so happy you guys it's so beautiful i can't believe i get to keep my bouquet for <laughs> I'm so glad I did that because that's something that like I knew I wanted to do but I wasn't sure about and I'm so glad that I did that because it's an ten. And I'll like pop up photos like these are like what my bouquet looked the day looked like the day of and you guys saw my bouquet after it was pressed but just for comparison I'll also pop photos up of that but like I cannot deal with it. I'm trying to like kind of make a plan really fast. Um Garrett and I are trying really hard to stay under budget and save a lot of money because we're trying to pay down some credit card debt and 
save for a really big trip that we are planning on going on in a year and i was looking on pinterest and i found this uh person called the i guess site called little frugal house and they have like these weekly meal plans um for like super cheap so i'm gonna try this and see how it goes okay so let me show you guys what i'm doing um so i made i looked up different recipes and found like some ideas and then i made my meal plan so we are leaving next sunday for um a beach trip with garrett's family so we i just want to get through this week till next friday and then saturday and sunday it'll probably be like quick grab and go type stuff um but so um today's thursday and we're gonna be with my mom and dad's my mom and dad's house tomorrow so saturday i'm gonna make chicken teriyaki and then we have spaghetti flatbreads we have a frozen pizza, so I put it on the meal plan to use it at some point during this week, but who knows what day that'll be. Um, so we, at Trader Joe's, they have these like Indian fare packets that are really good, and we buy two of them and then cook them over rice, and it's really yummy. And then we have a sheet pan meal, and then I left one blank for leftovers slash chicken and rice, whatever we're in the mood for. Um, and then I made a grocery list. Um, so on Saturday, um, I will go get all of these things. And I did, um, I went on to Aldi, which has similar prices to Trader Joe's. And I like grabbed what I thought, like they don't have like Indian fare packets, but they do have like sauce that's 375. The pa the packets are not 375. I think they're like 229 or something like that, but I think like all the prices will kind of even out um and it has me at 66.56 so i think i'm gonna have to do some like changing around when i get trader joe's on saturday but um yeah so i put everything in there it's around the 60 dollar mark which is where we're going for this week so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you guys updated on how i stay in budget or if i don't or you know what have you but yeah Hi, okay, so I promised you guys I would do a, oh shit, I know what I want to do. I promised you guys I would do a update um, on groceries and what I spent. So our weekly budget starting this month um, is $60 a week for two of us. So I spent at Trader Joe's, I spent $47.84. And let me just show you what I got. I'm gonna do like a really quick, like, fly through and show you what we got so i have talked about these they're so good these are the indian fair packets at trader joe's i've tried almost all of them and this one's my favorite um there's one i haven't tried that i need to try but just haven't gotten around to that one got some brown sugar for recipe got some frozen sugar some frozen green beans, some frozen turkey, some pepperonis, some ground turkey, red grapes. I normally get the green grapes, but they didn't have any green grapes today. So that's all right. Everything's been out everywhere, so I'm not worried about it. Some spaghetti. I'm gonna make some flatbread. So I got this flatbread. Uh, crumpets, these are amazing. If you haven't had the crumpets at Trader Joe's, I highly recommend it. it they are so freaking good. Um, basmati rice. Um, crushed red peppers for a recipe. Cocoa aminos for a recipe. Um, pasta sauce, pizza sauce for the flatbreads. Um, red baby potatoes and two giant ass onions because at Hitter Joe's it's per item and not per pound so I definitely take advantage of that but yeah stayed in budget was under budget I'm super proud of myself for that so I have some wiggle room to get some items throughout the week so thumbs up starting off pretty well